Casey Mize. Just a bulldog on the mound. The guy uh, coming into uh, the batter's box knows he's gonna be in for a fight. Matt Manning. He's a freak. Uh, the guy rolls out of bed and throws 95. Uh, he really does. Tarek Skubal. I haven't seen anybody like him, ever. Doesn't matter, he could throw 100 fastballs and nobody would touch it. These guys have to like start their swing thinking that they're about to make contact with this thing and it just flies by their bat. Alex Fiedo. The guy wants to win more than anybody I've ever seen, I think. He's got a big chip on his shoulder. I don't know really why he does, but he definitely he definitely pitches with a chip on his shoulder. When he's on, there's not a hitter that I know of that can touch his stuff. Joey Wentz. He's aggressive, pitches inside, hits his spots, gets us into the uh, dugout and lets us bang. The list goes on and on. In fact, the Erie Seawolves pitching staff is so talented that even with Mize now shut down for the season and Fayedo having not pitched a game since August 8th following a back strain, they still sport five of the Tigers' top 30 prospects. Jones takes on the inside corner, strike three. They just bully everybody in the batter's box. It's a good mixture. You got some, you know, finesse pitchers who pitch pretty hard, but they know that they're trying to pick their spots. And then you got you know, the flamethrowers and, and, and the power pitchers, and they know what they're doing, and they know what they have to do. Which has resulted in the organization sitting at or near the top of basically every notable team pitching category in the Eastern League. Strikeouts. Swing and a miss, strike three, fastball at 97 that time from Matt Manning. Shutouts. Swung on, in the air, left field. Derek Hill is there. Ball game, no hitter. Win. Pitch called strike three, and Johnson goes down looking. Erie wins this tonight an extra 6-2. Yet scarier still, they continue to evolve with the help of each other. Like that, and your body just like yours and come around. You can just learn something from uh, every different arm that goes out there and pitches. You just watch and learn how, what they're doing or just trying to like figure out their approach to getting hitters out and just kind of seeing if you can apply that to your game too. Fido always. He's very smart about the game, so he's always giving you more than what the scouting report says about hitters. You know, he's like, he's got a crazy memory. He's just really smart about the game. And you watch Manning just go out there and be aggressive and let his just ability take over. And you just kind of watch him how he attacks with the fastball and then throws curveballs and throws changeups when he needs them and then gets back to the fastball, which is something that I do too. So it's, when I watch Manning pitch, it's like, it's, it's impressive. You know, everybody plays hard. Everybody's pushing one another. I mean, I know I can speak for the pitching staff itself. I mean, everybody, it's a really competitive, uh, competitive pitching staff from top to bottom um, in the starting rotation and in the bullpen. So, I mean, I've, I've done both this year, so it's been fun to kind of just see everybody push one another and um, try to get the most out of everybody. Looking to the future, those talented Sea Wolves who tow the rubber hope they can carry their skills forward all the way to Comerica Park. I think that would be a dream come true. I think we all work very well together, and I think we're all uh, winners and uh, competitors, and I think that um, us being together would be uh, just be something special, you know, in, in the future. The goal is to win a championship in Detroit, and I think, you know, I think that in a sense that kind of starts in the minor leagues with with the teams and the guys that are coming up through the organization. When you have a successful group of guys, um, you know, pushing each other, coming to the ballpark every day, that are um, driven and motivated and and, and stay the course. Um, I, I think at the end of the day, it just continues to breed success all the way up through your through your farm system and then into the big leagues.